the A320 comes together. The only all-new 150-seat jetliner in production anywhere in the world. Now counting down to worldwide service. June 1986, A320 number one well advanced in final assembly. Number two following closely. Number one about to receive its tail surfaces. The working platforms move smoothly into place, powered to save time as aircraft move from station to station down the final assembly line. The whole horizontal tail is a composite construction by Casa of Madrid. At this stage, the stabilizer surface is lifted into place. The carbon fiber elevators will be fitted later. Composite construction saves weight and reduces component count drastically, benefiting both operation and maintenance. Engine pylons built by Aerospatial Blagnac are fitted. Advanced and sophisticated structures in high strength steels, titanium, aluminium and composites. The vertical tail assembly, another all composite item of primary structure, delivered by MBB's specialist composites facility at Stade near Hamburg. Airbus industry has established a massive lead in the applications of composites to primary structure, proven in a long and thorough development program and in service on the A310-300, now extended to the A320. No other manufacturer comes near Airbus Industries' depth of practical experience. The latest technology is allied with the careful precision of craftsmen all over Europe, expert in the quantity production of advanced technology aircraft. Building in quality at every stage, quality in research, in design, and in construction. The A320 is taking shape steadily, advancing down the final assembly line, the first of hundreds already committed by over a dozen airlines well before first flight. The front fuselage of A320 number three in final fitting out. Number two has received its wings. The static test airframe is also in assembly. Special ground test engines are fitted to A320 number one. Flight rated engines will be delivered in November. The all-new APU by Garrett is installed. This unit is optimized for the A320 with low noise, low exhaust emissions, and over 30% lower fuel consumption than APUs on current generation aircraft. The 10th of October, 
The first A320 leaves the final assembly line on the way to start structural deflection and vibration tests under the supervision of the certification authorities. Free at last of staging and platforms, the lines of the A320 can now be appreciated for the first time. Lines conceived for practical purposes. The new dimension fuselage strikes the optimum balance between minimum operating cost and maximum revenue generation. Width for maximum passenger attraction. Depth to enable A320 operators to bring efficient container cargo service to more destinations linking the single aisle routes for the first time to the international air freight network. Using standard ground equipment, increased revenue at no extra cost. Wings designed and built by British Aerospace, the acknowledged leaders in high efficiency subsonic aerodynamics. Maximum structural and aerodynamic efficiency for minimum drag and maximum performance, equating to lower costs and higher output. The first example of any new type of aircraft has to undergo a long series of tests after leaving the assembly line before being handed over to flight test. By late November 1986, A320 number one was well advanced in vibration and resonance testing. Insulated from the ground by special elastic supports and with calculated vibrations applied under the supervision of the certification authorities, the A320's structural responses were checked to prove the calculations of the design bureau. Tests with varying quantities of fuel aboard and with undercarriage retracted and extended gave a preliminary clearance to proceed towards flight test, a major step on the way from building to proving A320 performance in the air. For the resonance tests, two specially built mass simulator engines were fitted. Flight rated engines were fitted early in December. In the Airbus Paint Hall at Toulouse, still the most advanced facility of its kind in the world, the first A320 is painted in the still secret new Airbus livery, a visual symbol of the excellence of European design. Production is already building up. 
as the first of hundreds begins the final phase of the A320 countdown, the seventh A320 is already in final assembly. On the 14th of February, the A320 was publicly and royally presented to a distinguished audience, graced by the presence of Prince Charles and Lady Diana, the Prince and Princess of Wales, the presidents of A320 customer airlines, and government ministers from the Airbus partner companies, including Mr. Jacques Chirac, Prime Minister of France, and Herr Franz Josef Strauss, Minister President of the State of Bavaria and President of Airbus Industry. A fittingly spectacular demonstration of European unity and European leadership in technology. Mr. Prime Minister, Your Royal Highnesses, Excellences, Ministers and Presidents, Ladies and Gentlemen. Today we are presenting to you, honored guests and friends, and to the world, the A. 320. Thank you, sir. Symbolizing the role played by the industrial partners in the consortium, I now call upon the workers, each representing his company, to reassemble a scale model of the A320 from the parts for which each partner is responsible. First, MBB of West Germany. The company manufactures the center and the rear fuselage and fin. MBB is represented today by Astrid Oderich Zender. She is aged 25 and is a carbon fiber specialist at MBB and today she represents the 10,000 German workers Ten thousand German workers directly involved in the Airbus program. Then Aerospatiale of France, responsible for the front fuselage, wing center section, pylons, and in Toulouse final assembly. Monsieur Bernard Latrille, he is twenty-eight and part of the seven and a half thousand strong team at Aerospatiale. He is particularly responsible for ground tests on the A320 in Toulouse. <laughs> British Aerospace has responsibility for the wings. Some 8,000 employees are involved in British Aerospace. Alan Gould represents them today. He's a fitter and is part of a BAE working party in Toulouse. The engines on today's model are CFM International Engines, a Franco-US group. Casa of Spain manufactures the tail plane. This, like the fin, is made of composite material. Mr. Gumersan de Lopez Feliz represents the Casa workforce today. He's 36 and works in the quality assurance section of the new technology department. Now, the fin by MBB. Well, here it is, the A320. At 9.30 on the morning of the 22nd of February, a week after its royally spectacular presentation, the A320 took to the air for the first time beginning a year of testing and proving before its entry into service in March 1988 with its launch customers Air France and British Caledonia.
our flight went very smoothly. We were very confident after, in fact, after half an hour, we were all confident. Bernard has flown the airplane. Uh, Gordon Core has flown the airplane. And as you may see, this is typically a European crew which are now happy.